is the landscape change from now to then with so much money flooding in? And you've, you've always been focused on the siege stage, but I imagine there it's also become a lot more competitive. It, it is, uh, but, but I think that part of being a good investor is being your best self and not getting too caught up in the activities around you and the fear of missing out. And so we just try to stick to our knitting for the most part. Our funds don't get much bigger. We don't change our strategy. We just kind of try to do what we think we know how to do. So what is that? Uh, investing crazy early and risky in the best founders in the world before the world believes in them and be co-conspirators more than investors and help them overcome the obstacles and barriers that a, that sometimes a stubborn world will put in front of them. Now, uh, in a recent piece in Fortune, you wrote, the global startup culture needs to grow up. We don't need disruptors, disintermediaries, programmers, thanks for that, robots that eat jobs or tech that eats anything at all. How is that shaping your thesis? Well, well, so I believe that entrepreneurship is fundamentally an act of love and creation uh, more than it's an act of disruption. And so when Logan and John started Lyft, they didn't say death to taxis. It was about ride sharing. It would be awesome. And so somebody my, said death to taxis. Well, <laughs> not those guys. Right. But 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 um, when whenever an entrepreneur pitches me and says I'm going to disrupt something, I'm always like, why do you want to disrupt anybody? And uh, if, if their advisors are giving them advice to talk that way, they're getting bad advice. And I want to know how an entrepreneur is going to bring, bring abundance to the world. I want to know how they're going to harness the exponential power of microprocessing, computation, and network effects to make people's lives better. I'm not interested in who they're going to harm or disrupt or disintermediate. That's not entrepreneurship. That's, that's sometimes a side effect of creative destruction and things changing. But that's not what the best entrepreneurs are in it for, in my experience. You've got a lot of thoughts on, on, on Bitcoin and crypto. Um, you recently wrote a piece saying, crypto projects remind me of a high wire circus act. It's like <laughs> running a zero to one startup and a public company in parallel. The uncertainties are enormous. So are you anti? Oh, I, I'm, I'm very pro. So uh, I think that networks are going to replace vertically integrated corporations and organizations throughout society in business, government, military, uh, you, name, you name an organization that's vertically integrated today, I think it'll be a network in the future. And I think that cryptocurrency and some of the uh, future de decentralized technologies uh, portend a future where we have networked uh, money and network commodities. And I think that'll be good because it helps us have a return to sound money. And right now I think that one of the underappreciated issues of our time is how irresponsible the governments of the Western world are in manipulating their currency and just printing money and kicking the can down the road and just you know, putting, putting uh, Novocaine into the financial system rather than letting the free markets uh, fix some of the, the sins of the past. Meantime, um, you and Anne have been working together a really long time. Um, you mentioned programmers uh, earlier. Why isn't the venture capital industry changing faster? Why is it so hard for venture capital firms, top tier firms, to find talented women that I know are out there? Yeah, well, you know, in our defense, right, two of our four partners are women, so. Uh, and, well, and you're not, one, and, of, and so, you're not so, one of the ones I'm talking about. Yeah, but, but I like to say, uh, you know, Gandhi had this statement, be the change you want to see in the world. Mm -hmm. And so I think the first, our first job is to just have our own house in order. Uh, and then Anne is doing a lot of work with All Rays and, and uh, trying to help uh, women help each other get ahead in Silicon Valley, but also uh, sort of enfranchise uh, men and helping them as well. Okay, uh, but what about everybody else? Why is it taking them so long? Oh, I just think that, you know, change takes longer than we'd like. And I think we all try to do the best we can to be, you know, part, part of the solution to that. But I can't. I, it's, it's hard for me to, to tell other people how they should do their job and run their business, right? I try the best I can to work with our team to do, to do our job well and then just try to be a positive force on the rest of it. So uh, we talked a little bit about what's hot, what's not? Um, what's overhyped? Well, it's funny. Uh, I've, I, I, I don't quite look at it that way all the time. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that, that uh, spotting great startups is like spotting a, a, a bird in the Galapagos mm -hmm. Islands that nobody's ever seen before. Mm -hmm. And so it, to me, venture capital is more like bird spotting than trend watching. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, people thought social networking was over when Friendster and Tribe and some of these weren't working out in MySpace and next thing you know, there's Facebook. And so. Uh, if, if, I, if, if Peter Thiel had thought uh, social networking is overhyped, 
he wouldn't have had his mind wouldn't have been prepared for the insight to, mm. to invest in Facebook. So for me, it's one company at a time, one founder at a time. All right, Mike Maples, uh, there, managing. There, yeah, Go so ahead. maybe one thing, fake <laughs> growth. So I think some companies are raising too much money mm. relative to the value they create, but that's that's not one sector. Is, is there a bubble that's going to pop quickly? Uh, I, I don't think so. I think it's going to be more that some companies are going to face their day of reckoning because they've engaged in fake growth and hidden it for a long time. 